Well, guys, I am Tara from HomemadeSoapMakingSupplies.com. Today I'm making homemade goat milk soap. I have this goat milk here that was frozen into ice cubes. Sprinkling my pre-measured lye over the top. And we're going to let that melt. Okay. Please always immediately rinse out your lye bucket. Okay, so here we go. So the lye, when it reacts to water, gets super, super hot and melts your goat milk. So we're going to sit here and stir until it's melted. And you want to keep stirring so that it doesn't have spots where it burns the goat milk. Okay, so that took about three minutes to melt, three to four minutes to melt all my goat milk there. Now this is a smaller batch, of course, so it's only a two pound batch of soap. Almost there. Alright, there we go. So, we're going to pour our goat milk and lye solution into our bowl, rinse out your bucket immediately. Now, when you soap at lower temperatures, so my temperature is about 70 degrees, when you soap at lower temperatures, you come to a trace quicker. A trace is when you lift it up and you can see a trail coming along after you've mixed it for a bit. But when you soak lower, you can get a false trace. So I'm even though this is thick, I'm gonna blend it a little bit longer. Yeah, that's nice and thick. That is a thick trace. I don't usually do a thick trace, but that is a nice thick trace. Now this is just a plain, unscented goat milk soap. This is great for sensitive skin with the eczema and the psoriasis and all that. This is really good for sensitive skin since it doesn't have the fragrance. And most of the times in soaps, that's what irritates the skin. Tap it down. Can you see those little bubbles popping? Okay. Then, I'm going to wrap this with a towel for 24 hours and let it get hard. If you want, you can put a piece of cardboard over the top so that the towel doesn't get in the soap, just like that. Um, so let me show you real quick. From our shipping business, we have a whole bunch of cardboards left, so I just take and set a little piece on top and then put the towel over like that. That's why you want to put the cardboard on there, okay? All right, we're going to come back and cut it.